So yes people, welcome back to another video here on the JNM Football channel. So if you're new around here, my name is Josh and I'm one half of JNM Football. The other half being my brother called Nathan. Now as you can probably hear by my accent, I am from England and me and Nathan both were born and grew up in England. However now we are currently living and playing football here in Serbia. We've been living here now for many years and we've experienced both by living here and playing football here. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about how it is playing abroad as an English person or how it is playing in a different country from where you were born. So there's many pros and cons to playing abroad. Now me personally, I would recommend it to everyone. It's a great learning curve, you get to see the world, you get to see different styles of football and you learn so much as a person and as a footballer. But there's also a lot of cons to it. Money, financial side of things, not knowing the language, not knowing any people there, being alone, being in a new country, not knowing simple things like what bus to get on, how do the trains go, how to call a taxi, how to order a pizza, do you need a visa, how long can you stay there for, can you legally work there, there's so many things you have to pay attention to when looking to go and play abroad. I'm going to talk about some of these pros and cons in today's video. Now I'm going to start with the pros. Now as I've already mentioned, the experience is great. You get to see a new culture, you get to see so many things and you learn every single day. In my experience, you get to meet so many amazing people and you learn something new from each person. Maybe that can be a new word in your language, a swear word, any simple thing. You can learn so much from meeting people from different cultures. Now another great positive is that you go outside of your comfort zone when going abroad. By going abroad to play football, you take a huge step outside of your comfort zone, which leads you to then grow as a player and as a person. Also by going to play abroad, you get to travel a bit and see the world. You also grow your network. You get to meet so many new people in and outside of the footballing world. Now these people inside the footballing world these are the contacts that you really want to make and add into your network because you never know down the road how these people may be able to help you in football in getting a trial, a new contract, anything like that. Now quickly, those were the pros that I could think of. Now let's talk about the negative sides of this. Obviously, the first time when you go to a new country, you need money to pay for flights, accommodation whilst you're on trial, food, visas, things like this. To be financially able to go abroad. Then there's obviously a risk. You might pay for your flights, accommodation, food for two weeks. You go on trial and then the team says they don't need you. Obviously now with COVID and the pandemic, it's been really hard to travel and go abroad. So there's many new rules and laws you have to stick by. So I definitely recommend you do your own research. Visas, passports, all this stuff, it gets really confusing. However, it's something you must do research on. Depending on the country you're going from and depending on the country you are from, there's different types of paperwork you might need. Stuff like visas, work visas, study visas, different types of passports, stuff like that. But before traveling, do your own research. Now, when you go to a new country all on your own, you are 100% on your own and alone. You don't know anyone, you have no contacts and it can be quite tough. This is when a strong mindset comes in hand. Now I've mentioned this already, but accommodation. A lot of the times the team or club won't sort you out with accommodation, so you need to sort that all out yourself. I recommend you using Airbnb. It's a great app and it's easy to use. Language is a tough one. Depending on the country you go to and the country you're from, you may not speak that language. Now for me, in the winter I went to Spain, I can't speak a word of Spanish, and I did struggle communicating with different people. Now going abroad is a great thing and it's a great opportunity, but it depends on you, your situation, and your lifestyle. Obviously it depends on your goals, your age, if you are able to do this financially, and obviously you have to leave all your friends and family and you are going to be alone. As a footballer, it's tough to plan from year to year because you don't know where you're going to be playing next year. Now, when going abroad, this makes it even tougher because sometimes you only get nine month contracts and you have three months free in the whole year and you don't know where, where you're going to be, who you're going to be with and what club you're going to sign with next year. So this does make it tough to plan in the long term. However, going through all these positives and negatives, I 100% recommend to anyone that if they get the opportunity to go abroad to play football, that you take it straight away. Myself and Nathan both took this opportunity and we're both looking for opportunities in the future. Now these are all the pluses and negatives, positive, negative things that I could think of. There's probably more to it. Um, 
it is quite confusing and you 100% should do your own research on the country, on the laws, rules, COVID, all that stuff because it can get quite confusing. But yeah, I hope this video did help you guys out and I hope I've given you enough information on whether going abroad is the right move for you. Please drop a like if this video did help you. Obviously subscribe for our future videos and I'll see you guys in the next video.